They don't just fly, they build. They don't just deliver pizza, they deliver life-saving blood to remote clinics in minutes. They don't just inspect a bridge, they map its every hairline crack in crystalline detail. Welcome to the drone revolution. A $500 billion industry in the making and the machines at its center are more than gadgets. They're highly engineered robots, assembled in clean rooms and programmed with the kind of autonomy that used to belong to science fiction. Over the next few minutes, we're going to pull back the curtain on how modern drones are made, why their design matters, and how the current generation of aircraft is already evolving into swarms that will build, repair, reforest, and even self-replicate. We'll cover the foundations, from the birth of the industry and propulsion systems, to sensors, AI vision, manufacturing precision, and the human factor that still anchors every mission. Buckle up. The sky is no longer merely empty space. It's a factory, a battleground, a construction site, and a delivery corridor. Level 1. The Birth of Modern Drones The modern drone era didn't begin with toys. It accelerated when hobbyist quadcopters met smartphone connectivity and precise microelectronics. Early pioneers combined GPS modules, compact brushless motors, and lightweight LiPo batteries to create platforms agile enough for cinematography, but adaptable enough to be repurposed for much harder tasks. What changed everything was miniaturization of sensors and the flight controller. Tiny circuit boards that contain microprocessors, inertial measurement units IMUS, accelerometers and gyroscopes, and radio modules. These flight controllers run control loops hundreds or thousands of times per second, fusing sensor data into stable flight. That same core stack scaled from hobby quadcopters to commercial platforms used by film crews, utility companies, and emergency responders. Two parallel trends launched drones into mainstream industry, the consumerization of flight and the maturation of software stacks that made autonomy replicable, open-source autopilots, accessible SDKs, and developer-friendly APIs allowed third-party innovators to add mission logic, everything from route planning to complex payload control. Suddenly, verticals like medical delivery, precision agriculture, and infrastructure inspection moved from pilot projects to production systems. Level 2. The Heart of Flight – Propulsion and Power If a drone's brain is its flight controller, its beating heart is propulsion and power. The evolution of brushless direct current BLDC motors, matched to high-efficiency electronic speed controllers, gave drones thrust curves that were once the domain of much larger aircraft. Combined with high-energy density lithium polymer batteries and increasingly fuel cells or hybrid combustion electric systems, drones can now lift commercial payloads and remain airborne long enough to be useful. But power is not just about lift, it's about efficiency and thermal management. Engineers optimize propeller geometry with computational fluid dynamics, CFD, so every watt creates maximal thrust with minimal noise. Variable pitch propellers, once a feature of full-sized helicopters, are appearing on heavy lift drones to extend efficiency envelopes and enable smoother control under varying loads. Beyond batteries, alternative energy options are emerging. High altitude, long endurance drones use solar arrays and ultra lightweight structures to remain aloft for months acting as pseudo-satellites for communications and surveillance. Level 3. The Brain, Sensors, and AI Vision What separates a remote-controlled toy from an autonomous worker is sensing and perception. Modern commercial drones carry sensor suites that read the world in multiple spectra. R. G. B. Cameras, Multispectral Imagers for Plant Health, L-I-D-A-R, for precise 3D mapping, Thermal Cameras for Search and Rescue, and Radar for All-Weather Navigation. The raw data is useless without AI. Onboard neural networks run computer vision models that identify targets, detect cracks in concrete, classify tree species, and even read license plates where lawful. Advances in edge computing, powerful, energy-efficient processors like Vision ASICs and small GPUs allow those models to run onboard in milliseconds, enabling immediate reactions, evasive maneuvers, precision drops, or automated inspections without human oversight. Level 4. Manufacturing Precision Look inside a commercial drone factory and you'll find clean rooms, autoclaves, pick-and-place machines, and optical inspection rigs. Not a garage. The frames are often carbon fiber composites laid in specific fiber orientations and cured in autoclaves to achieve the highest strength-to-weight ratios. High-end frames sometimes use titanium or magnesium alloys in critical load paths. Propellers are injection-molded or CNC-machined to tolerances where a fraction of a gram difference can upset balance and increase vibration. Assembly increasingly happens with industrial robotic arms 
and machine vision. Surface mount electronics are placed with micron precision. Connectors are microscopically inspected for solder integrity. Every unit is tested in wind tunnels, in thermal chambers, and on vibration tables, cycles that simulate years of use in hours. The result is reliability. Drones that can fly in minus 40 degrees Celsius Arctic conditions or survive gusty urban canyon winds. Level 5. The Human Factor Even as automation advances, humans remain central. There's the pilot, certified operators who supervise fleets and intervene when missions require discretion. There are systems engineers who maintain sensor calibration and mission planners who design safe corridors through complex airspace. Regulatory frameworks, aircraft certification, airworthiness, and airspace deconfliction still require human judgment and institutional trust. Human factors also shape design. Payload bays are built for ergonomic swaps to minimize time on the ground. UIs are crafted for fast situational awareness. One glance should reveal battery health, wind vectors, obstacle proximity, and mission status. Training regimes are building a new workforce, technicians, autonomy engineers, fleet managers, who will run drone operations at scale. Level 6. Drones as Builders Imagine a construction site with no cranes, no scaffolds, and no human hands in hazardous zones. Today that sounds like a demo video. Tomorrow, it will be a status quo. Concrete 3D printing drones are already in active development. Machines use additive manufacturing to extrude concrete in layers, building walls and structural components faster and cheaper than traditional crews. Companies like FBR's Hadrian X prototype and multiple research labs have shown how robotic bricklaying and path-planned extrusion can place thousands of bricks per hour with millimeter precision. But the next leap is swarm construction. In swarm architectures, specialized drones collaborate. Surveyor drones map the site in 3D. Transporter drones bring prefabricated modules. Assembler drones align and bolt components. Finishing drones apply sealants and sensors. This multi-agent choreography is enabled by localization techniques. RTK GPS for centimeter accuracy, visual inertial odometry for GPS denied environments, and LIDAR for dense point cloud mapping. Level 7 Bio Inspired Designs Biology has built flight systems through 500 million years of R&D. Engineers are ripping pages from that manual. Flapping wing drones, ornithopters, emulate bird and insect aerodynamics for extreme agility and low speed efficiency in cluttered environments. Harvard's RoboBee experiments and Festo's bionic learning network, from the bionic opter to the bionic kangaroo, demonstrate how morphing wings, compliant structures, and tendon-like actuators enable maneuvers rotary platforms cannot. Level 8. Energy Autonomy Power is the choke point for any airborne worker. Batteries improve, but energy demands keep rising as drones carry heavier payloads and run AI on board. The industry is responding on multiple fronts. Hydrogen fuel cells and microturbine hybrids dramatically increase energy density versus lithium polymers, enabling hours instead of minutes of flight for heavy lift platforms. Companies and research groups have demonstrated fuel cell UAVS with flight times measured in multiple hours and payloads sufficient for logistics. Solar augmented designs from wing integrated photovoltaic skins to HALE, high altitude long endurance drones like Airbus Zephyr, promise persistence measured in days or months. Level 9. Global Drone Networks Individual drones are useful, fleets are transformational, but the real architecture is the network. Integrated skies, distributed tasks, and real-time mission orchestration. Enter Unmanned Traffic Management (UTM) systems, the air traffic control analog for low-altitude autonomous aircraft. Governments and private consortia Think FAA slash NASA pilots, Unifly, Altitude Angel, ANRA systems are building UTM frameworks that manage corridors, assign permissions, and deconflict traffic between drones and traditional aviation. Level 10. The Self-Building World This is the horizon that made your jaw drop in the intro. Self-replicating, self-assembling swarms, full replication, where robots mine local materials and print copies, remains distant and ethically fraught. But near-term realizations of the idea are already practical. We began with emergency blood deliveries and forest planting drones. We end with autonomous swarms printing habitats on Mars and rebuilding coral reefs. The road between is short in technical terms and enormous in social terms. So next time you see a drone overhead, don't think of a toy. Think of the first module in a future workshop. 